The ocean is the most mysterious place in the world. The darkness, pressure and the very cold temperatures make it extremely hard for humans to research and figure out what is actually down there. This is the top 5 terrifying things that is in the ocean. Coming in at number 5 we have Stranded Ship. In Zakynthos, Greece, on the beautiful beaches lays a haunting sight of a stranded and rusting MV Panagiotis ship washed up on the shore in 1980 and continues to lay on the sand to this day. Many tourists come to view this phenomenon and due to the mysterious ship it's been nicknamed Shipwreck Beach. Little is known about the ship and is highly debated. One theory is that the ship was used for smuggling and abandoned when the crew were being pursued by the navy on their way to Piraeus from Albania. Another theory states that the ship was making its way from Turkey with the freight of contraband cigarettes headed for Italy. When encountering stormy weather the ship went into a cove where the crew abandoned the ship in fear of getting caught. Soon after the ship was abandoned rumours started swirling that the ship had many valuable items on it and authorities eventually convicted 29 people for looting cargo and valuable equipment from the wrecked ship. The location of the Panagiotis was prominently featured in the hit Korean drama Descendants of the Sun, leading to a surge of interest among Chinese and Korean tourists. This beach was briefly closed for tourists in 2018 due to the fear of landslides due to a large boulder falling onto the beach, but left the ship unharmed. The beach was later opened and that same year the beach was named as the world's best beach in a poll by over 1,000 travel journalists and professionals. The beach and surrounding areas are stunning but the mysterious of the ship lingers and gives creepy vibes when you're on vacation in such a beautiful place. Some tourists have stated while getting close to the ship they've heard noises coming from inside and some locals believe that this ship is haunted by the past crew members. In at number 4 we have numerous lost cities. One of the most famous lost cities that have been located in the ocean is the lost city of Atlantis. The lost city used to actually consist of a few islands where the founders had created a utopian civilization and became a great naval power. Their home consisted of concentric islands separated by wide moats and linked by a canal. The island of gods contained gold, silver and other precious metal and had an abundance of rare and exotic wildlife. Many believe Atlantis and the story behind it was a fictional story that was created by an ancient Greek philosopher Plato but others believe it was a real story and that the lost city is supposedly located in the Atlantic Ocean while others say it's the Mediterranean or under Antarctica and this is a popular debate. Besides the highly debated Atlantis there are currently at least a dozen lost cities that rest at the bottom of the ocean near places like Greece, Japan and India. The sunken palace of Cleopatra is one of the most fabled underwater remnants of the ancient world. It had sunken more than 1400 years ago when an earthquake and tsunami hit Alexandria, Egypt. One of the most spectacular and intact lost cities is Shicheng or otherwise known as the Lion City which is located at the bottom of China's Kwandeo Lake. Not from ancient times but apparently it was purposefully flooded in 1959 to make room for a dam and an adjoining hydroelectric station. Another lost city comes from Dwarka, India which is known as the gateway to heaven which was an ancient city dating back as far back as 574 AD. The ancient Dwarka was sunken by the rising of the ocean levels and taken to the bottom of the sea at the Gulf of Cambay. Marine archaeological explorations have shed light on the structures and other artifacts these ancient people lived in. Many things have been seen and recovered like ancient structures, grids, pillars, stone anchors, pottery, stone sculptures, bronze, copper and so much more. In a number 3 a suspected UFO. In 2011 a group of Swedish divers discovered a mysterious object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea which is a part of the Atlantic Ocean. The divers that were exploring the sea floor that came across the UFO shaped object had their equipment stop working as they approached the object. Professional diver Steven Hogenburn who is part of the Ocean X team said that some of the team's cameras and satellite phones refused to work when directly above the object and would only work when they were at least 200 meters away from the so called UFO. The Swedish diving team noted that there was a 985 foot flattened out runway leading up to the object, implying that it skidded along the path before stopping. Member Dennis Asberg said, I am 100% convinced and confident that we have found something that is very, very, very unique. Many of the divers were convinced that their finding was in fact a UFO but some added theories that maybe the object could have been a meteorite or an asteroid, a volcano or a U-boat from the cold war but no one was really sure. The divers had returned to the site the next year to get a better look at the anomaly and had in fact found a second object near the first finding. 
They had taken a sonar image of the new finding due to mysterious electrical interference. It wasn't much of a clear image, and the group had only released the original finding image because the second finding was so blurry. With only a single blurry image and little information, many speculate that the object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea could in fact be a UFO, a portal into another world, or even an underwater Stonehenge. The theories received more attention when artist Hawk Vact had created a 3D interpretation of the mysterious object, which looks eerily similar to a UFO or something not of this world. On December 10th, 2014, the website Earth We Are One actually published an article claiming a UFO shaped like a Millennium Falcon from Star Wars had been discovered at the bottom of the Baltic Sea and explained more about the dive and findings. We may never really know what this mysterious object truly is, and many believe it might be, but others believe it could be something else, but no one really knows. In at number two, we have Giant Eyeball. In 2012, a giant eyeball was found by a beachcomber in Pompano Beach in Florida, and this discovery is baffling wildlife officials. The softball sized eyeball was reported to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and then sent to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute in St. Petersburg to be put on ice so further analysis could be done to try and figure out what sea creature this eyeball had come from. Marine biologists will use genetic testing to try and solve this mystery and try and find an answer. When the picture came out of this mysterious eyeball, the internet went crazy and the mystery eyeball soon went viral, and some have suggested that the eye came from a monster fish, a giant squid, or even a Whale. Many people are leaning towards the eyeball is from a giant squid, but the spokeswoman for the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute, Carly Segelson, said they are leaning toward a different scenario. The primary suspect right now would be a large fish like a swordfish, a tuna of some sort of deep water fish species. Heather Bracken Grissom, an assistant professor in the marine science program at Florida International University in Miami, believed that this huge blue eyeball may have come from a deep sea squid or a large swordfish. The professor and her colleagues concluded that the eyeball's lens and pupil are similar in shape to that of a deep sea squid, and noted that a deep sea squid's eyeball can be as large as a soccer ball and can easily become dislodged. After the marine biologist's test came back, they were still left with not many answers of what creature this eyeball came from, but it was determined to have bone fragments around it, debunking the theory of it being from a giant squid. Many different parts of different sea creatures have washed up or have been discovered by divers, but soon determined by marine biologists to be a specific sea creature or species, but this eyeball continues to be a mystery. This story just proves that we know very little about the ocean and who or what is swimming down there, especially in the deepest depths of the sea. And finally, in at number one, we have Icicle of Death or better known as the icy finger of death. It creeps through the ocean's depth like a frozen eel, an eerie phenomenon known as brine icicles. Brine icicles are most commonly called the icicles of death. It freezes everything it touches. Only discovered in the 1960s, these things grow towards the sea floor from the base of the Arctic and Antarctica sea ice. This phenomenon happens when extremely cold brine sink to the bottom of the water, reaching warmer seawater below. The water around it flash freezes, creating a descending tube of ice known as a brinicle. Sometimes an underwater icicle reaches the sea floor, and when it does, a web of ice forms and spreads, entombing and freezing everything in its path, including any unlucky sea life, such as a starfish and sea urchins. Andrew Thurber, professor at Oregon State University and avid diver, had actually seen a brinicle bloom firsthand and stated, they look like an upside down cacti that are blown from glass, like something from Dr. Zeus's imagination. They're incredibly delicate and can break with only the slightest touch. The formation of a brinicle was first filmed in 2011 by producer Catherine Jeffs and cameraman Hugh Miller and Doug Anderson for the BBC series Frozen Planet. They can even create brine pools, which are called the Black Pool of Death, and are toxic to marine animals due to their high salinity and anoxic properties, which can lead to toxic shock and possibly death. Based on what scientists have learned so far, they believe life on Earth may have originated from these tentacles and that they may even harbor conditions suitable for life to form on other planets and moons. Well, there we have it. I will see you in the next video.